Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, a matter of focus. Whatever you focus on grows. Whatever you put your attention and energy on will determine what happens in your life. If you focus on being kind and loving, not manipulatively in order to get something, but just because you enjoy being kind and loving, well, kind and loving things will happen in your life. If you focus on your grievances and on the feeling that people are always out to get me, well, indeed, you will experience many, many grievances. The nature of focus, however, is often misunderstood. Let's say you want to increase the loving experiences in your life, but something happens which makes you angry. Well, since you want to focus on the loving in your life, you deny your anger or push it away. And that is certainly a valiant attempt at keeping your focus on loving. But it is misunderstanding the nature of focus and will only cause you problems down the line. Focus is where you concentrate your energy, what you do with something once you've noticed it. For example, someone cuts you off on the freeway. This annoys you. Duh. Well, denying it annoyed you will only put the irritation somewhere else in your life. It'll crop up someplace, somewhere, as some form of distress. Focusing on your annoyance, as in concentrating your energy there, will magnify it until you are a raging, fuming, maniac, hating everyone on the planet. Instead of either denying or focusing on your annoyance, try the following three-part process. Number one, acknowledge the reality of the event. You got cut off. It is annoying. Number two, allow yourself to feel your annoyance and express it appropriately, please, in the moment. Like saying to yourself forcefully, I'm annoyed. And then, your emotion being released, just get off it. And step three, concentrate your energy, your focus on loving values if, for example, loving experiences are what you want to increase in your life. You can, for example, focus on your thankfulness that most drivers don't cut you off. Or use the event as a reminder to pay extra attention to the road yourself. Why? Well, because you care about yourself and others' well-being far too much to drive carelessly. In other words, you do love. Or to use another example, your boss yells at you. You feel hurt and angry. Using the three-part process, you would neither deny your emotion as in Oh, my boss, they just get that way. It's nothing. I love them to death. Yeah, right. Nor would you allow your feelings to magnify to where you storm into their office, slam your fist on their desk, and announce in rageful tears, I quit. Instead, number one, acknowledge the reality of the event. Yes, they yelled at you. Yes, you are hurt and mad. Allow yourself, number two, to feel your feelings and express them appropriately in the moment. For instance, Go into the restroom and fume for however long it takes for you to release the emotion. Thirdly, concentrate your energy, your focus, on loving values. You can appreciate this opportunity to figure out a better way of doing whatever it is that displeases your boss and go about doing it. Or you can be grateful your boss values you so much they yelled at you rather than fire you. The ability to concentrate our energies is a wonderful and powerful gift. Choose where you put your focus wisely, and it will serve you very well. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my new book, Phoenix Rising, Surviving Catastrophic Loss, Fires, Floods, Hurricanes, and Tornadoes. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, please visit my website, noelnelson.com. Or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.